Hey friends, it's Shane from our new website, ToolsToWrench.com. And in this video, I'm going to showcase three different tools. The first one in the major part of the video is one of these pumps for pumping your oil out of your engine on an oil change. A lot of you uh, are hearing that you have to take your car to the dealer because it has to be a special tool. You're going to find out it's pretty inexpensive on Amazon. You could be doing this oil change yourself. We're on our third one on this car. It's made it super easy. Uh, I had a friend just borrow it the other night to do a Mercedes. Uh, that was a really expensive oil change and the only thing for me in the beginning was I wasn't trusting you could actually pump it all the way out. I really felt like you were going to be leaving a lot of oil behind. But watch this video for the tip on a second tool that we're going to use so that you actually get all of the oil to that pump and out of the engine. The third tool that's going to be showcased is a really cool LED light, but let's just go ahead and show you what we did, how we got all the oil out, and how you can use all three of these cool tools yourself. All the links are below in the description. First off, you can see it's just simply just one of these car ramps and we just use one of them to tip the, uh, the vehicle so that the motor is dumping all that oil towards to where the dipstick is where we're going to insert the pump tool so that we can actually extract all of it. Pretty simple but super effective. As you can see from these photos, on the first oil change before we raised the car, we actually had a 0.8 of a quart of old oil left in the engine. That just wasn't going to be acceptable to us. So. We uh, came up with the idea to jack the car up, uh, actually using a motorcycle jack at first, and we were able to capture all of it. It got that last uh, 0.8 of a quart out. And then ultimately, this is uh, what we came up with to make it just really easy. Drive up on the ramp, boom, push all the oil towards the dipstick where the pump uh, line is, and you get it all out. All right, let's show you how to uh, actually use the pump and then also that cool LED light that I was talking about here. Um, so if you're just looking for the tools, you could speed up a little bit. I'm going to show a couple things to you uh, VW owners on how to actually do this oil change. You may have noticed I pulled this uh, engine cover off the top here. Just simply pull it off. It's on four tabs, but that gives you access to the oil filter and the oil fill. As I throw some gloves on, get ready, you're going to see I just simply hook the tool up to the battery with the positive, positive, negative, negative. You're going to see me pull the uh, dipstick out and I'm going to put the inlet side of the oil pump, if you will, down that dipstick uh, tube. And I'm going to use the dipstick as a guide to how far, you know, that that hose should really go down there. If, if it wasn't going all, down all the way, it's at least the length of the dipstick. I'm surely not going to get all the oil out, but this is what I do to just kind of verify that. So as I verify that it's the length of the dipstick plus just a little bit when I push it in, it bottoms out 100%. Uh, down as far as I can go without hitting anything inside the engine. All right, now we're going to take our outlet side of the pump and just put it into our oil container. With this having such a low cost purchase point, I was really surprised to see an on off switch on the body of the pump. A lot of times you just got alligator clips directly to the battery, so this is way cool that you can control the power safely like that. I also like that I'm pumping this right into my transport container versus an oil pan and then putting the oil pan that. It really made this uh, a lot cleaner of a process, but look how much that uh, is pumping out of there. These Volkswagen motors are pretty sweet for having the uh, oil filter right on top there. Um, on assembly, it's really cool too that the uh, torque spec is right on top of that cap as well, so good job on design there. All right, nothing too special if uh, you've ever changed a cartridge oil filter before. Just kind of keep them clean, make sure nothing's falling in there. And with the new filter, I just kind of like to lube up the edges, uh, verify it's the right one, pop it in there, and uh, just reassemble. The torque spec is on the cap. Ours came with a new O-ring seal. I always recommend uh, replacing those. Uh, don't uh, don't overskip that step. It's such cheap insurance just to make it new. All right, as we head to fill up the engine, one of the things I like to do is take an old uh, quart jug, just cut off the end of it. it, makes for a really nice funnel with a big wide mouth, not to make a mess. We're obviously gonna put the cap on. I just check it real quick after putting that five quarts in, back it off the ramp, and I'll do the final adjustment of the oil level with the last 0.8 of a quart, kind of back and forth, just so I can fine tune setting it in the right spot. 
You may have also noticed this light, this little LED light I was using. I love this thing. It's rechargeable, super adjustable, uh, magnetic. Those are really, really strong uh, magnets too. So I'll put a link to uh, that, uh, to the pump itself, and then the ramps down in the description uh, below. But that is my uh, little tip on on how I got this little pump to actually work uh, in full confidence where it actually gets all the oil out. So I give it a thumbs up. Uh, we've used it, uh, this is the third time now in this vehicle and feeling, like I said, super confident uh, thinking about how to tip that last little bit of oil all the way over to that pump. So cool stuff. All right, if you haven't yet, like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Port us in any way you can, make it a great day. And as always, keep wrenching. Hey. What are you doing? Have you hit that subscribe button, that notification bell? You're going to be missing out on videos and free prizes and raffles we have coming up.